of local developers is planning a multi-million dollar project in West Dayton. Two News reporter Leo Williamson is asking questions about the lifelong dream in the historic Wright Dunbar community. Brooke, I'm going to take a step out of the way so you can see the building in question right here behind me. They're hoping that they can turn it into a beacon across the bridge, uh, attracting opportunities and businesses to this historic district. More than 60 apartments, retail spaces and restaurants, and an indoor parking garage. That's what developer John Lumpkin and his development team envisioned for the old Chevy building on West 3rd Street. The first of its kind in, in West Dayton. I mean, I'm from Dayton, so we've been talking about revitalizing the West Side my entire life. The story always gets told, oh, we'll bring some low-income uh, housing and all that. We don't need any more of that, and we're not going to bring any of that over here. We're gonna... They acquired the building at the end of 2019. Their goal now is to draw interest to the west side of Dayton. To create a corridor. That's our goal. Our goal is to create a, a, an entrance into this, cor uh, into this corridor, uh, this part of the city. So it'll be a, hopefully a beacon of uh, future uh, development uh, for this part of town. The Wright Dunbar district is full of history. Thriving, thriving African American part of town um, for, for many, many years that were devastated by the riots in the 60s. Construction will wrap in 18 to 24 months, hopefully coinciding with the completion of the Third Street Bridge. So having a multi-million dollar project as soon as you come off that bridge to enter the west side, you kind of have a different feel and, and flavor for what you're getting into as you come into Wright Dunbar. They're planning to add two more stories to this building, and Lumpkin tells me they've already gotten letters of intent from some retailers. So we'll continue to keep you updated as this project progresses. But for now, in Dayton, Aaliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you.